MPN's Power Player is sponsored by ZDMS Dealer Management System, the heart of technology in your dealership, and the engine that drives productivity and profitability. Schedule a demo today at ZDMS.com. Hey guys, it's Greg Jones from Motorcycle and Power Sports News, and welcome to another episode of Power Player. Today we're at the 2024 AIM Expo and I'm joined by Michael Maladon. He's the president of Elway Power Sports. Michael, good morning. Thanks Greg, for joining us. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're looking forward to uh, getting to know you a little bit better and uh, obviously talk a little bit about what you guys have going on at Elway Power Sports. So on that topic, let's start with, with you and a little bit of your background. Um, I understand you come more from the automotive side mm -hmm. uh, and now you're doing more of the power sports stuff. But, Tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, actually I started my career as an attorney, believe it or not, and okay. I was doing uh, business, uh, mergers and acquisitions, and got recruited to um, really a legend in the, in the car business, Larry Van Tile, and, and worked with him and, and helped him consolidate, acquire and consolidate dealerships for about 10 years. Um, then I moved, I, I kind of wanted to get out of the, the attorney aspect of it and become you know more in the business side of things, so I actually went and ran a couple of um, technology companies that Larry had invested in. Um, then I. Eventually, uh, he sold that to Berkshire Hathaway, and I wound up partnering with my current partners, uh, Mitch Pierce and John Elway. Yeah. And so we started, um, and I've helped them acquire some auto auto dealerships. We're up to six now um, on automotive. And then in uh, 2021, 2021, when uh, we, we just happened to find, we had been looking at the power sports industry for a while, but we, we had an opportunity in Northern Colorado, which was good for us. That's, we've got quite a presence there. and. Uh, Loved the first one, and, and now we're up to five. Yeah, wow. So five, five in just a few years. Uh, yeah, we bought yeah. we bought two, actually three, all within 12 months um, of, of, of the first one in 2021. And then we bought a really big store in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska uh, last year. And then we most recently um, bought a store up in Laramie, Wyoming. OK, very good. And Michael, how long have you been with Elway um, in total? So I, I officially joined them in 2017, but um, I've known Mitch Pierce for you know all during my tenure in the automotive business. So um, I was I was consulting, helping him out. Actually, helped him you know, acquire his Chevrolet store in you know gosh uh, mid like 2012. So I've known okay. him for quite quite a long yeah. time. Yeah, very good. Now. Do you personally have anything to do on the automotive side with LA or? I do, I do. I'm, I'm still executive vice president for, okay. for that. So, I mean, um, there's not a ton I need to do there because we have such skilled general man managers there. Sure. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm still involved for sure. We're, we're, we're building a couple new facilities, um, one in Ohio that I'm, or I'm, I'm sorry, Utah that I'm, I'm working on, so. Yeah, you know. very nice. Now, Michael, you said you got this extensive background in automotive, uh, but now you've been on the power sports side for a few years. Uh, how do those two differ? You know, what have you liked about the power sports stuff versus automotive? You know, they they, they differ quite a bit. I think it, it was uh, it was interesting to us. I think when we bought our first one, we thought you know since we have so much um, experience and knowledge in automotive that it, it'd be you know it'd be real easy. I mean, it, it, it's we we learned that it's it is very different than automotive. Um, I think you know one one of the big differences is just your your consumer i mean these are enthusiasts they don't they don't need to to buy these toys yeah. you know so it's, you're you're selling a want versus a need i think your you know the employees are are much different you know si similar but different um you know they they've chosen you know this career as opposed to you know automotive that, that sometimes you know longer hours um some better pay but it comes with those longer hours and yeah. so i think just the difference in how you manage people and then really it's it's surprising how complicated the business is, even compared to automotive. You know, we, you know, we had one of the largest Toyota stores in the country, and I I'd kind of look back and you know joke with some of my colleagues saying that that's easy compared to running a power sports dealership that has you know ten different franchises. I mean, right. you have to you know these you know your your service manager has to know you know warranties for BRP, Polaris, Yamaha, Honda. I mean, it's all different, and your and, and your you know salespeople have to be trained on all this. So it is yeah. it is a lot different than it is in automotive. But yeah, a lot of a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences. As many of you know, taking physical inventory is something you do once, maybe twice a year, 
and sometimes you avoid it altogether. With large quantities of parts, accessories, chemicals, tires, and various other merchandise throughout your store, it's not a simple task to complete. There is a better solution. A solution that gives you the ability to cycle inventory counts anytime without disruption to your business. That solution? ZDMS RFID Physical Inventory. With RFID tags placed on inventory, you can cycle counts or conduct physical inventory with an RFID handheld scanner by simply pulling the trigger and walking around your dealership. RFID scanners do not require line of sight, so counters don't need to bend down under partitions, climb shelves, or position items to be visually seen to be counted in most cases. Contact your ZDMS representative to learn more about RFID physical inventory and how ZDMS is the only dealer management system in the power sports industry building the technology your dealership needs. Now, there are things that uh, you guys have done in the automotive side that you've brought over to the power sports side um, and vice versa? You know, are there things that um, can benefit the business that you've seen? Yeah, I think I think that the things that carry over the best is probably some of the the technology. I think um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting around AIM to see what other vendors are out there. But, right. you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, lot of uh, technology in the automotive business is just kind of making its way into power sports. I mean, you know, I think of a CRM, for example, a couple of stores that, that we acquired weren't even using a real CRM. Um, and so, you know, some, some of the digital marketing that, um, you know, are, are, you know, that we have experience from, from automotive. Mm -hmm. So there, there, are, there are some things that, that we brought over, but I think there was also a lot of things that, that we learned, um, you know, coming in as, as new, new owners of Power Sports. I mean, thankfully we, we inherited some wonderful people and really just kind of listened, you know, yeah. we, we didn't we didn't do a lot of mandating, we did a lot of listening, and I think that yeah. that really helped us to, um, you know, be be successful to where we are today. Yeah, absolutely. So Michael, you're president of Alway Power Sports. Walk us through what a typical day or a typical week looks like for you. You know, what are the types of things that, that you have going on? It, it, it's a lot, I, you know, like I said, I, I still have, um, you know, a lot of tasks I'm doing in the automotive, um, you know, building, Building some new facilities, we're still looking at some acquisitions there. So, my my home office is in Phoenix, Arizona, um, where my home residence is. And then, uh, you know, I've also got a um, residence up in Northern Colorado, where really, you know, three of our, our dealerships are are in close proximity. So, okay. um, I'm traveling back and forth quite a bit. Um, I've got a I've got a terrific team in in, in the power sports side of things. I've I've got uh, four terrific um, directors that help me oversee. The, the operations. A lot of you know my day is talking with them. You know I like to I like to call my general managers once a day too to just check in. Um, but it's you know it really it really depends on where I'm at. If I'm in Phoenix, I'm doing, I'm yeah. lot on the phone. If I'm yeah. if I'm up in Colorado, I, I you know I'm, I'm getting out every day and driving to the dealerships and spending my time you know really you know talking to the people and making sure that I've got a good you know good finger on the pulse of, of what's going on there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good way to do that is in person. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so, Michael, you mentioned you guys have five dealerships under the Elway Power Sports umbrella. Um, a couple of them are in Northern Colorado. Where are the other two? So, we have two in, in Fort Collins in Northern Colorado. One, one's in Greeley, Colorado, which is about 30 minutes away from, from Fort Collins. Um, we have one in Laramie, Wyoming, which is about an hour north of Fort Collins. Mm -hmm. And then we have one in Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay. And I understand they're all a little bit different in terms of the OEMs that you guys carry and the, they, know, the they types are. of vehicles that you offer. Yeah, they are. The, the first one that we acquired in Fort Collins, like I said, it was, you know, we had, we had been eye, eyeing the um, power sports industry for quite some time. And because we've got such a presence in Colorado, um, the, the first store that we acquired was uh, NOCO Power Sports in Fort Collins that carries BMW Triumph and uh, BRP. And again, the terrific opportunity for us. Terrific people that that uh, you know we retained every single one of the employees. Just a terrific crew, um, and and then another one uh, came available in Fort Collins. It was a single point Honda store. So our, our long term plan is to put those together. Okay. Um, but the the store that we acquired in Lincoln, Nebraska, is a terrific store for us. I think we want more stores like that that have all the brands. So that one in Lincoln carries BRP, Polaris, Yamaha, Honda, Kawasaki, CF Moto. Um, 
Suzuki. I'm sure I know I'm leaving a few off. It's right. pretty much everything in, yeah. in the business other than that Harley Davidson. Okay. Um, but we we really like that type of store, um, those bigger stores. So, yeah, I, obviously very happy with the other stores that we have. But we're we're hoping to continue to grow and you know get get more stores like you know those those multi franchise stores. Yeah, absolutely. Now, is is it everything from you know? Road, you know, street going motorcycles to off road stuff, as well as some of the ATVs and UTVs that you guys carry. It is. I mean, de yeah. again, depending on on the brand, you know, BMWs, you know, all motorcycle Triumph is all motorcycle, but um, some of the other brands, Yamaha, Kawasaki. I mean, they, you know, you know, we, in addition to to the ATVs and the side by sides, we've we're carrying um, BRP pontoon boats um, in in Fort Collins. We're carrying. Um, uh, sea doos, ski doos. So we're, we've got we've, yeah. anybody that calls me want, that's looking for a toy. I've got one can, to give. You can them to send it. them somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, very good. Uh, now you mentioned a few of the things that might be on the docket uh, into the future, like consolidating a store uh, where it makes sense. Um, what are some of the challenges of uh, running those five dealerships that you guys have faced recently? You know, what are, what's kind of the top of mind things for you guys? You know, I, I think. Right now, heading into this year, I think just the economic challenges, I think it's going to be, you know, we're coming off of three of the best, you know, years in, in the automotive business, the power sport businesses with, with you know, lowered inventory and, and which, you know, we've, we've been fortunate um, in the industry. So I think that's top of mind, but, but I, I, I think we're, you know, we feel confident we're going to navigate through it. I, I'd say the biggest challenge is um, making sure that we, we've got good people. I think it's, it, this is a people business, um, you know, I think we're good operators, but at the top, but it, 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 you, we have to make sure that, you know, as, you know, our salespeople, our, 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 our parts people, I mean, and, you know, making sure that we're taking care of them and making sure that we're, that they're motivated, that they're happy. And I, I knock on wood, I, I think so far so good. So, yeah, but that's, that's always a challenge to everybody I talk to. It's, it's, it's about the people. Yeah. Very good. Um, now, again, you mentioned a few of those things that you guys are looking to do going forward. Um, you know, what are some of those things that are on the horizon later this year, maybe early next year and, and even further beyond that? Well, we, we, we hope to continue to grow. Um, you know, we've we've looked at a lot of opportunities. Um, we, you know, we're, we're I think I think we like to think that we're, we're smart, patient um, acquirers. I think I'd say the same thing on the on the automotive side of things. I mean, we've we've every single store that we bought on automotive it's just turned out to be terrific um and and in the power sports side same thing i mean if, if we had to do it again you know some of the smaller stores might not we might not be picking up smaller stores but i think we're going to be looking at you know larger stores like like that uh, lincoln dealership that we acquired so we're, we're hopefully there's going to be a lot more opportunities to come all right, so Michael, you were just talking a little bit about, um, you know, looking for those additional acquisitions. Can you talk a little bit about what you guys look for when you're, when you're looking for a, a new dealership? Um, you know, is it location? Is it the types of OEMs they might have already have relationships with? Um, you know, what goes into that? Yeah, it, that it's process? It, it's a great question, and I don't know if there's any, you know, set answer. I think it, it's definitely location. I think we. Yeah, I, you know, because our home base is more in the Rocky Mountain area. I mean, I think we'd, we'd, we'd like anything around there or, you know, in closer proximity. Arizona is a terrific market. Texas is a terrific mar market. But we, we would look at anything. I mean, I've looked at stores out on the, on the East Coast. Um, we just we just know that that has to be the perfect opportunity because it's going to be more of a challenge, mm -hmm. not only for, for me, but for my team. I think, um, you know, one thing I, that, that's like I mentioned, the, the, the four directors that I have that help me run the platform, they're touching all the stores so if I have to send them all the way to New York or something that's that's gonna be more of a challenge so sure. I, I would say locations one um, certainly the franchises I mean we want to have a core group of the solid franchises the those those eight that I just named that are at Lincoln and, and yeah. they're also Harley Davidson any any of those brands you know we'd like to have at least four of those brands um, and and then you know also just the market itself I think there's some some of the you know, we, I've looked at stores that are in in smaller communities those those are a little bit more challenging because uh, again to, to to get the people you have a smaller labor market if you go to a place like Denver or Phoenix Arizona there's you know a lot of employees and and so so it's really just kind of a combination of factors I, I, I think Lincoln was a little bit of a stretch for us because that was a state away and we but the opportunity was there and, and it was just a terrific store and and uh, you know we're, we're delighted to have that one yeah yeah absolutely. Now, Michael, I have to ask, um, you know, because AIM is the same week as uh, the Super Bowl this year, 
Uh, and obviously with John Elway, you know, do you guys, do you get to meet up with John on occasion throughout a year? And I assume he's here this week for the, for the big game. You know, I, we, John comes to the stores quite a bit. I mean, yeah. at, at least once a year, um, he was, uh, you know, he just visited the stores right around Christmas time. I took him around the stores and, and he's, he's such a, he, he's such a people person. I mean, he'll spend time with not only employees, but the customers that come yeah. in and talk to him. Um, I don't, I don't know if John's going to be here this week or not. Um, okay. But, uh, but yeah, he's 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 busy, and we're blessed to have him as a partner, and blessed that he you know comes and spends time with us. Yeah, well, he's been in the dealership game for a long time. I I, I grew up uh, for a few years in Denver, so I remember seeing his auto dealerships even back then. Yeah. So uh, I, I sure I sure I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So. He's he is a terrific operator yeah. in automotive and yeah. power sports, and you know his restaurants, and he's he is he is a he's a, he's a terrific operator and an even better person. Absolutely. Well, Michael, it was a pleasure getting to know yeah, you a little absolutely. bit here. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate the time. Guys, that's been this episode of Power Player. Make sure you're checking out everything that Michael's got going on at Elway Power Sports. And as always, make sure you're checking out Motorcycle and Power Sports News for more motorcycle and power sports content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.